Hey boys and welcome! What? 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 Who's this English lad talking on the video? Well, Tosh isn't available right now, so we are covering for him. We're going to be going over the manga characters and giving you my opinion because Tosh isn't able to right now. So, boy, it's a hype banner, man. I already made a video on it, but bro, it's crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Like, in my opinion, one of the best banners to date. Like, I have five of the fillers, right? And even, oh, I think six. But even then, these are some good damn fillers. So, let's go over the characters, bro. Uh, we're not going to go, I mean, we could go over these these individual banners, I guess. But, you know, the main thing that I think most of us care about is obviously the step-ups. So, obviously, rates are still 8%, 6% for a featured 0.5 for each character. So, 1.5% chance to get a manga character in these step-ups. And hopefully, my game plan with 5k orbs is to go uh, all in until I get to the characters. And then I'm going to do a, uh, you know, not a pull for whoever's, you know, I'm missing, right? In that, hopefully... Best case scenario, I get Yamamoto, I get Soifon, and then I can summon for Aizen in his individual banner because I have I am zero out of three on his individuals. For Yamamoto and Soifon, I'm two out of three, so there's a good chance I'm gonna get shafted on their banners. But even with Aizen's, I could at least walk away with a new character. So I've already went over this. Basically, so Aizen's a the thing with Aizen, he has weakening, he has debilitator, so great, good stuff. He's the first character to have a charge attack that has two extra stages. So Obviously, they charge up once, and then that's when you do a lot of damage. His second charge up is full screen and does crazy amount of damage. That's pretty hyped. Kurohitsugi, uh, special, you know, strong attack. And I'm excited to see some gameplay, bro. I'm excited to see some gameplay. But he also has 10 start barrier. Cool. I guess that's useful. Uh, maybe in PvP. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then he also has last ditch as a unlockable skill rather than a sword trait. So, you know, always nice. It's it's nice to see Caleb but change and stuff. Uh, Dangai, not Dangai. Vastalord Ichigo. Yeah, they, I mean, even Dangai. Dangai got two killers instead of one, which no other, you know, tag team character got it. And then Vastalord Ichigo got this new skill for PvP, and he also didn't get DR in his soul trait, but he actually got it in his skills. So maybe that's, it's, it's cool. We might start seeing some extra stuff with, you know, what Caleb are doing with their skills, if that makes sense. Hopefully that does. But that's pretty much Aizen. He's a mind character. I believe people are a bit disappointed from him because Soul Dex data mind the stuff, but I'm still excited, bro. I'm still going to go for him. I don't care. And then Yamamoto, another blue hollow. Jesus. Uh, we have 14, 15, 16, 17 manga characters now, and three of them are blue hollow killers. Uh, that's a bit, that's a, that's a yikes for me, bro. Four blue characters in 16 manga characters, and three of them are blue hollow killers. So uh, I don't know what Caleb are thinking, but he's basically a... He's a melee character, so, you know, he's he's whatever. Uh, he's got a Vortex with his special, so, cool. You know, if you use your special in Senkamon, and it doesn't kill them, at least it can hit them in the Vortex, so you can do some extra damage, or before they can nuke you, right? And he's also immune to fire immunity, uh, or he's got fire to uh, fire immunity, so he's immune to fire, and he's immune to freeze, like all Yamamoto should be, so nothing wrong there. And then Soifon, boy, did I not see this coming. She is a melee attack character with an Aranka killer, and she's hot. So she's got flurry. So she's pretty much the opposite. Not the opposite, but kind of annoying that K Caleb are doing this. We literally just got we literally just got Khan for the own world ya uh, Yami, who is also a PV PVE killer and has flurry. And then they're doing the exact same thing again with the Soifon. It would have been cool if she was a different color. Uh, just like, you know, with with what's it? New Year's Myri, he's a technique character with human killer. And then instead the next time they release a human killer, it's also another technique character. So be nice to see some variety in the game, K-Lab. Come on. You know you know what you're doing, but... Soifon looks a bit crazy. Her second strong attack, from what I remember, is a boost, which has enhanced, so she can almost infinite... No, not infinite loop it, but, you know, it's, it's going to last 20 seconds. And it's also a vortex, and I'm not sure if, it, if she can do anything with that. Oh, and it also increases her mag, so... <laughs> you know, Thousand Year... Noritora is good, right? Obviously, I think everyone knows that. His second boost, or his second strike, is also a boost, which increases his mags. So he's doing even more damage on top of the boost that's giving him extra damage to, you know. So he's basically getting, like, not double damage, but he's two buffs, basically, in one in one strong attack. But his only lasts 10 seconds. So Soifan lasts 20. And Soifan also has the highest HP in the game, stamina. So, uh, Ki Kiba? No. What's his name? Zetsu Zaiwan? Iba. It's Iba, not Kiba. Iba's reign of having the highest HP or stamina in the game is finally over. So, and Soifan took that title. But yeah, she's another flurry character with poise. And she's mainly meant for PvE. You might see her in PvP, but 
not with Noi Toru around. She, she, she's not going to be that usable anymore. If, if Retsu ain't usable, neither is, neither is this Soifon. That out of the way, these are the percentages and the steps. Unfortunately, I didn't realize this uh, if this was the case in the last one, in round one. But the last step doesn't give you any revival candies. Last time it did, you got three, I believe. So if you did about like 10 more, you're getting 30. This time, however, we are getting 20 droplets of each type and one free skill key. Which, you know, I'll take. I'm probably going to drop like 10 mollies worth. So that's 10 skill keys for me to get, you know, just to quickly max out a character that I, d I don't want to farm. And then these are the singles. Uh, whatever. If, you, if you're low on orbs and you can't make the guaranteed and you, you know you can't get any orbs after this, uh, probably stick to singles because you get the 6% rate within uh, 40 orbs, basically. With the motifs, you've got to do 400 orbs before you actually get a 6% rate. So yeah, let's move on to the characters. Aizen, 802 SP, high as hell. Hollow Killer, Mind, Recharge, great. And then these are his skills, which, you know, they're good. They're good. Nothing wrong with that. It's it's If anything is bad with Aizen, it's going to come down to his kit. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Genrasai looking like a great character. Unfortunately, it's just we already got a bunch of speed Hollow Killers. But bro, he's still great. I'm definitely going to be going for him. And then Soifon looking mighty fine at 767 H or attack and 1111 the 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 blessed number of stamina and then she just has a bunch of stuff and then this is the great part bro the great part right here the filler list we have one two three four five six seven seven manga characters in one banner i never thought i'd see the day and that's absolutely crazy then we also have kugo great character if you don't have him i don't have him i personally want him he's also a bonus character so he's definitely not worth he's definitely worth getting if you don't have him then we have Jushiro, a 14 recharge character. So a good link for Aizen if you do pull Aizen. And then we have Kensei, 20% DR. Not that good of a character by himself. He's definitely usable, but he's mainly going to be a link for... <sighs> Yamamoto, <laughs> I guess. Then we have the Vortex character of the banner. Apparently every every step up round 2 has to have a Vortex character. Last week we had Retsu. This year we have Ichigo. And I'm, I'm hoping I do get him. I got him from the level 200 ticket a while back on the beginner thing. And... I used him for Vortex, but obviously we want a, you want a Vortex character at level 1. So I've been using the same KB Akio, but his Vortex is a bit smaller. So I do want to at least get this Ichigo. I don't have Rangiku, so I will gladly take another Ichigo. And then there's Renji, who isn't bad. He's an old character, but he is, he's not bad. And these two characters are also bonus characters for the Epic Raid. So nothing wrong with getting them. If you get the... Say you're going in, say if you're 0 out of 12, you get a Renji or you get a Soifon. You get a uh, Bankai tag team Ichigo. You get... Jushiro, you get Aizen, you get Yamamoto, and you get Kugo. Boom, you got like every bonus character for each color, and you should be good. You should be breezing through Epic Raids, the Awakened Quest, whatever. But that's that's pretty much about it. Uh, obviously, your boy Tosh is going to be going in for that uh, that Tosha, and I, we, I think we all hope he gets him about time he does. But yeah, that's that's it for me, guys. I'm going to call it quits. Please do like the video it's for, to show some, some love for the boy and for Tosh, obviously. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if I ever do a collab or another video for Tosh, but yeah, I'll see you guys then.